In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell and withdraw from Coinbase to a bank or PayPal account. Plus, I'll also show you how to withdraw your crypto to an external address for the likes of a hardware wallet. For more information, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. So if you're holding your crypto for the long term and you want to have more control over it with access to your private keys, you can withdraw it to a wallet. And this is under the assumption that you've already bought your cryptocurrency using Coinbase. From the dashboard, if you go down to the list of your assets, from here you can select the cryptocurrency that you'd like to withdraw. For this example, I'm going to be withdrawing Bitcoin to a Ledger hardware wallet, but shortly I'll also show you how to withdraw to a Metamask wallet. So I'll select Bitcoin and then send and receive in the top right. Now, if for any reason you don't have this option available, it might be because you've just opened your account or recently bought with the likes of a credit card. As an anti-fraud measure, they do sometimes restrict your withdrawal access so that you don't buy with a stolen card, buy Bitcoin and then withdraw it from the platform. But if you do have access, you'll see that Bitcoin is automatically selected from the dropdown. And you'll want to ensure that you've got send selected at the top of the screen as essentially you want to send your crypto to an external address, which is going to be my ledger address. So let's head across to Ledger Live now and then to receive on the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to be choosing Bitcoin and my account. And it's important here that you do send Bitcoin to a Bitcoin address as if you accidentally send Bitcoin to an Ethereum address instead you do risk losing your crypto. So I'm going to copy this address now, or alternatively, you can scan the QR code with a mobile device. Then if I head back to Coinbase and paste that into the to address, and you can then enter the amount of Bitcoin that you'd like to send, which is in dollars. Alternatively, you can choose to send all. And you might put in a reference where you're sending this to. For example, I could put ledger here. Then continue where you'll then receive a confirmation screen showing you where you're sending your crypto to and it's worth double checking that before you confirm. We can also see our note and a Coinbase fee which states zero and a network fee. When you send transactions on any blockchain, you will need to pay fees that will be processed by the miners and the price that you'll pay will depend on the blockchain that you're sending it on. As you can see here, this is gonna cost about 10 cents and the estimated time will depend on how congested the network is but at the moment, that's estimated to take around 30 minutes. Now, if you want to send your tokens from Coinbase to the likes of a Metamask wallet to use in conjunction with decentralized apps like Uniswap, for example, the process is very similar. This time, we're going to be withdrawing Ethereum to our Metamask wallet. If you've got more than one network set up on Metamask, you'll want to make sure that you're connected to the correct one, which in this example is going to be the Ethereum network. You can then copy your Ethereum address from your Metamask wallet by clicking onto the address under your account. Then if we head back to Coinbase, choose Ethereum from under your assets and then choose to send and receive. And you can then paste in the address that we've just copied across from the Metamask wallet and put that into the to field. Then enter the amount that you'd like to send to this address and then confirm your transaction and your Ethereum will then appear within your Metamask wallet. Now, if you've been holding your crypto for a while and feel that now is the correct time to sell your crypto and withdraw your cash or maybe your profits back to a bank account or back to a card, I'm going to show you how to do that now. The first thing we'll need to do is sell our crypto from Bitcoin and into a fiat currency like GBP or Euros, because a bank obviously can't accept Bitcoin. Then when we have our fiat currency, we can then withdraw that to our bank. From your portfolio screen, if you select the crypto that you want to sell, which in my case is going to be Bitcoin, but to be honest with you, I don't actually sell my crypto. I buy and hold for the long term, but I just want to show you the process now. Then on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see that you have the options for buy, sell and convert. Now, if you don't have these options available, it could be down to your region. Or as I said earlier, it could be because you're a new account holder, maybe you haven't completed verification yet, or you've recently bought. And for anti-fraudulent reasons, sometimes they restrict you from selling or withdrawing 
especially when you have purchased with a credit card. So I'm going to select sell. Then I can enter the amount of Bitcoin that I'd like to sell, which as you can see is in GBP. And I have a few different options of where to add to, which is either GBP wallet, Euro wallet, or you can add directly to PayPal. I'm going to add my swap Bitcoin to my GBP wallet, and then I'm going to show you how to withdraw that to your bank account. Once you've selected where it's going to be added to, we can then preview our sell, which then shows the price that you're selling your Bitcoin at, any associated fees for selling, which are £1.49, and then the total payout that you're going to receive. Now, selling with Coinbase isn't the cheapest way to sell your crypto, as you'll find better rates on other exchanges that allow you to define the price that you're going to sell your crypto at, so that you're always getting the best price for your crypto. Also, other exchanges are likely to have less fees. But this way is very convenient and an easy way to sell out and cash out for beginners. So let's go ahead and sell now. And the sell order will then complete immediately. If we head across to our dashboard now, you'll see that GBP is now showing under your assets. If we select British Pounds, as you can see on the right now, we now have the option to cash out. And you can choose to cash out all, or you can enter the amount that you'd like to withdraw. Then continue. Now from here, if you've already linked a bank account or a card, maybe when you were buying, these will show in the list. Or alternatively, you can add a new bank account, a card or PayPal account here. With PayPal, you can withdraw same day for free. And you can add a PayPal account from here, where you'll need to sign into your PayPal account, authorise the connection and verify. Plus, you may also need to send a test transaction across too. Now, if your PayPal email does not match your Coinbase email, you will need to complete two-factor authentication on Coinbase for security purposes. Also, your PayPal account's country must match your Coinbase account's country. And you can only link your PayPal account to one Coinbase account at a time. And once you've completed those steps, your account will then be available for withdrawals. Or you can add a bank account that will accept faster payments. I'm going to send mine to a bank account. And if this is the first time that you've linked your account, you will be asked to send a small amount of GBP or euros first from your account to the bank details that are provided on screen. And a really important part of this is the reference, as essentially this is what links your Coinbase account to your bank account. Plus your bank account will also need to be in the same name as your Coinbase account. Once you've gone onto your online bank and transferred a small amount across, and I sent two pounds, you'll be notified once they've linked the accounts via email. And mine all completed in around two minutes. So if I now view the deposit, I can now see the two pound has been added to my GBP account. And then I can go ahead and withdraw to the bank details that I've just set up. When you're happy with that, you can then confirm. And as you can see, there are no fees for withdrawing. And the bank account that I used during this withdrawal process was Revolut, and that transferred across immediately. And there is a lot more to Coinbase than just buying or selling crypto. You can also use their Coinbase Earn program, where you'll earn crypto for learning about it and taking some quizzes. Plus, you can also stake your crypto to earn a yield. And you'll find more information about Coinbase over on our website, everybithelps.co.uk. But that completes how to withdraw from Coinbase. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.